Assalamualaikum. Today, I want to present about frozen pepperoni pizza machine. For your information, this machine is fully functional by automatic system and PLC is used to program the machine. Okay, um, before I jump into PLC program, let me tell you how this machine works. So, the components that I have for this machine include input devices and output devices. So, the machine input include this start and stop button. And this three sensor, which is the first sensor, is a photo sensor. The second one is camera vision sensor, and the third one is load cell sensor. The machine output component is indicator light, the conveyor belt motor, the pneumatic slicer, this one, and these two pneumatic cylinder that work as a pusher. So let's see how it works. Okay, when the start button is pressed. The motor rotates the conveyor belt in clockwise direction and drive the pizza from this to station 1. When a pizza is seen in front of the sensor number 1, here, the conveyor belt is going to stop. At the same time, the pepperoni slicer will activate for 3 seconds. Okay, after 3 seconds, the conveyor belt will start moving and drive the pizza to station number 2. The camera vision sensor will detect the spreadable of the pepperoni pizza. Okay, the pneumatic cylinder will push the pizza out from conveyor if the pizza is not fulfilled the qualification. Before the pizza is packed, the weight of the pizza must be taken to make sure that it is comply the required weight by using load cell sensor. The rejected pizza will be pushed out by pneumatic cylinder. Without further ado, Let's jump into the PLC circuit. Okay, this is the PLC program or circuit. As you guys can see up there, there is three pneumatic system right here. This one is for the uh, pepperoni slicer and this two for the uh, pneumatic pusher, which is this at station number two and this one is at station number three. Okay, so uh, at the input center, we have push button number one uh, as start button and push button 2 as stop button and sensor number 1, sensor number 2 and sensor number 3 and at the output center uh, we have um, the indicator light this is the motor for conveyor belt and 3 solenoid which is this one for the slicer and this 2 for the cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 if I push the push button 1 which is the start button it will energize the circuit Okay, um, it will energize the circuit and be because this output is linked to output 0, so uh, it will energize the indicator light which is um, represent the system is in a running process. And also, um, I put here the normally open contact that link to the output 0 and we will energize the third rung, this is the first, second and third rung, we will energize the third rung and Energize the output one, which is the conveyor belt. Latching circuit is made uh, so that you don't have to always push the push button one to make sure that the system is running. And here is the normally closed contact, which is linked to input one, which is our stop button. If I click this stop button, the circuit is de-energized and the system is turned off. Okay, let me turn on the system back. Okay, so um, when the sensor 1 sends a pizza, the conveyor belt automatically stops and the slicer will start slicing the pepperoni for 3 seconds. That's why I put here normally close contact that link to input 2 which is our sensor 1. So if the sensor 1 is triggered, this will be open and cut the electricity or the circuit. Uh, so this output one, which is our conveyor belt, will be stopped. This normally open contact also linked to input 2, which is the sensor. And when triggered, will um, energize the output 2, which is the slicer. And the slicer will start slicing the pepperoni for 3 seconds. Here is the timer. Okay, 3 seconds. After 3 seconds, the DN 
uh, output here will energize the normally open contact right here and turn on the conveyor belt and also turn off the slicer okay so i will play this i will click this um sensor means the sensor is sense the pizza like that so you guys can see that when i push this button this light will turn off and this light will turn on after three seconds this light will turn on and this light will turn off okay i'll click right now one two three See that okay back okay, again okay so that's mean that um, after three seconds so the timer will back counting and the DM will give signal to this one and energize the motor and de-energize the um, slicer okay for the sensor number two we'll um, examine whether the pizza um, have perfect spreadable of um, pepperoni or the pizza doesn't have any pepperoni or lack of pepperoni uh, okay if the pizza is um, not fulfill the requirement it will energize the normally open contact right here that link to input tray which is the sensor and energize the output four which is the cylinder number one and the cylinder will push the pizza out from the conveyor belt okay if the pizza fulfill the requirement it will go through to the station number three which is at this time the the weight of the pizza will be taken by using the load cell sensor which is our sensor number three and if the pizza did not uh, fulfill the requirement of the specific weight the this normally open will be closed and energize the output number five right here which is the cylinder number two and cylinder number two will push the pizza out as the reject item if the pizza uh, fulfill the requirement and perfect so it will be ready to be packed okay right now i will rerun the simulation for the last time turn on turn off turn on sensor 1 3 second ok sensor 2 sensor 3 turn off ok uh, I think that's all for today thank you for watching and have a nice day and assalamualaikum